Hi, uh, my name is Andrew, and before I jump into what I want to talk to you about, um, I just want to give a little bit of background on me um, and tell you why I'm doing what I'm doing. So, I am a Marine veteran, a uh, U.S. Marine veteran. I uh, got out of the Marine Corps in uh, 2020, um, right in the middle of when all the craziness with COVID was happening. Um, and something that I saw that I did not like um, was that small businesses were really hurting as a result of uh, government shutdowns and everything else that was going on at the time. So, um, that's, that's why I, you know, started, started this business. Um, my business is called Sovereign SEO and I help small businesses, uh, connect better to their customers so that you guys can help more people. Um, and so that you guys can experience the growth, um, that, that you're looking for. So, to that end, uh, I want to share with you guys some tips on how to improve um, your online presence, which will allow you to reach more customers. Um, so to give a little bit of context on why this is important, this is a tool called AREFs. It allows me, among other things, to see how many people are searching for what each month. Um, this keyword, Roofing Companies Phoenix, is searched on average 700 times a month. Um, and there are a lot of related keywords right under it that are searched 300 a month, 250 a month. Um, and this is just Phoenix. You know, we could search roofing Gilbert, roofing Scottsdale, roofing Glendale, roofing Mesa, and it would all show up with, with their own keywords. Um, so my point is that there are thousands and thousands of people in the valley searching every month for roofing services. So um, you can imagine how it would be beneficial to capture some of that traffic onto your business's website uh, cuz that would very easily convert into you know 10 20 30 potentially even more leads a month depending on how much of that we're able to capture um, and you know I I know with roofing that's very significant so um, to that end I want to uh, give you guys some tips on how to do that so the first tip I always talk about is content on your website um, I see on your site you guys have a lot of good information on your services, um, on your experience. Uh, you know some of the galleries, um, the the gallery stuff is is very cool. You know you guys have a, have a lot of um, uh, you show your work very well over there. Um, one thing I would suggest is that you add more content with these keywords to your site. The reason that's important is because that lets Google know that when somebody searches for that, um, you want your website found for it. So if you were, if you were, if you have a, if you have like instances of these exact words, like you're you're writing a paragraph and you say, um, you know, we're a roofing company in Phoenix that has been servicing the valley for, um, you know, 35 years. That would be an instance of being able to use that keyword, right? So something that a lot of companies here in the valley do that they find useful is they make a location page um, and they have a page for Mesa, a page for Phoenix, a page for um, Glendale, etc. so that they can um, narrow down on those keywords on that page. So that's my first suggestion. And just to show you what it looks like on some of your competitors that are using it, I went ahead and searched for Phoenix Roofers. Um, your first two competitors that pop up are Level 5 Roofing and Lions Roofing. And this is what their websites look like. Um, here's Level 5. Um, and their content looks like this. Roofing Phoenix. Roofing companies in Phoenix AZ. Roofing contractors in Phoenix AZ. Um, roof replacement in Phoenix AZ. So uh, you can see those guys are using those keywords a lot. And that's important. That's, that's one of the reasons they're ranked highly. This is Lions Roofing's website. They're doing the same thing. Roofers in Phoenix and Tucson. Um, roofing services in Phoenix, Arizona. Best roofers in the Phoenix area. Um, so you can see these guys are, are reiterating those keywords a lot so that Google knows that their page is an authority on those keywords. All right. Um, now, the other thing that's important when it comes to ranking highly here for those words is not only do you need that content on your site um, because that lets Google knows that your page talks about that, but that doesn't necessarily guarantee that you're going to rank highly for it. Um, this, the thing that, that will help you rank highly for it is something called backlinking. Um, now what a backlink is, is it's any time that your site is mentioned on the internet by another site. All right. Um, so this is you guys' backlink profile. Currently you have 475 off of 63 different websites. All right. Um, 
Now, one thing I will say is not all backlinks are created equal. Some of them don't really do a lot for you. And an example of that would be like, um, you're, you're a roofing company, but if you had a reference from a site that was like, um, I don't know, a bakery or, or, you know, something that doesn't have anything to do with roofing, um, Google would not really see that as a relevant backlink because, um, it doesn't really have anything to do with your business. Uh, so the kind of backlinks that you want are from other credible sites that are relevant to you. All right. Um, so the keywords that you're currently ranking for right now, um, are and and you are ranking for for some of those words that we talked about right roofing company scottsdale roofing gilbert roofing contractor phoenix roofing companies in phoenix um those are excellent you know foam roofing arizona um these are great keywords however if you look over here at the position um you are ranking very very far down on the list this would be page eight on google um this would be page nine on google it looks like these ones actually you no longer are ranking for that's what this lost indicates um, so my, my, probably my biggest suggestion for you guys, um, just as much as adding content, but probably actually more significant for you guys than adding content would be to, um, to add more, more good backlinks that, that kind of power up your site and allow you guys to rank more highly on those valuable location based keywords. All right. This is what level five roofing looks like. Um, they have 1.2 thousand backlinks on almost 300 different websites and Lions Roofing actually even has more than that. They have 2.3 thousand on almost 600 websites. All right. So you can see how that's important um, to rank highly for keywords like this. Um, so my, uh, my last tip for you guys, uh, now that we're back over here, this is called the map pack. Um, and this is what my third tip is about. So. The map pack is basically Google's own little business directory. Um, and as you'll notice, level five roofing and Lions roofing are not in the top three places in the map pack. The reason for that is these rankings are affected by content and backlinks, like I just told you guys about, but these rankings are affected by something different, um, which is called citations. Now a citation is just anywhere that your business, business name, address, and phone number appear together online. Um, Examples of that would be business directories like Yellow Pages and um, BBB, websites like that. So my suggestion here in particular is to go find out where these guys have citations because they're in the top places. Go get your business cited in all the same places that they're cited and then go find some that they're not cited in and get cited in those too. Um, so that you have everything they have and then some more. Um, and that should really go a long way in moving up your Google business profile um, to be competitive and get into these top spots, all right? Um, so that's all I got for you guys. Those are my three tips. Number one, add um, location-based keyword content to your site. Number two, add backlinks to kind of add some credibility to your site um, in the eyes of Google. And uh, number three, add citations. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, please, if you have any feedback for me, uh, let me know, uh, or if you have any questions or would be interested in, um, having me help you guys out with some of this stuff, I would absolutely love to hear from you. So please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, other than that, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much.